Stop lying, you nit. Do you know what? I haven't. You should. <sighs> Story of parenting alert about a popular video game so many kids are playing. That's right, Robin. Video. Welcome to ABC News, where. Alert about a popular video game so many kids are playing. That's right, Robin. Video games are facing some new scrutiny this morning. President Trump has announced he's meeting with video game executives next week to discuss violent content following the deadly Florida school shooting. This is a new game called Fortnite. is drawing millions of players, and some parents are worrying their kids are. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, good, another school shooting. Oh, oh, no, now we're associating it with Fortnite. Oh, now we're doing that. Could have done it yesterday. Nope, could have done it tomorrow. We're doing it specifically today. I, I've never seen something so stupid, but then again, this is typical for the news. Let my little brother know about this stupid news report. Spending way too much time with the controls. Never really been a big fan of battle royale version. Join teams and battle up to 100 others to be the last person standing. The multiplayer melee drawing comparisons to blockbuster franchise Hunger Games. Keep that out of my eyes. Millions of users. Yeah, let's compare it. Let's compare it to something more violent and call it that. And then they compare it to Hitler because, 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 because parents will believe anything if it's on the news and said by a pretty lady. The news is going to attack me for this, but then again. And with the option for users to buy upgrades and bonus features, the company reportedly raking in big bucks on... Uh, you can buy in-app purchases, GLC, GLC is common news, stop making something old sound like something, oh, this is what I think you used, we're already, like, one and a fourth minute in, and I'm thinking this to the news. The game's big buzz, it wouldn't surprise me if they were making hundreds upon hundreds of thousands on any given day, in fact, maybe even over a million, for some parents, Fortnite's popularity is now a cause for concern. I mean, I just it's a... Selling says her kids are so caught up in the game she sometimes won't see them for hours after school. They download. Let me think. First of all, let me think about this. Although, the news is like, oh look, they're making a new Smash Bros. game. Oh look, a new game comes out. New violent shoot. Oh look, a new violent shoot game comes out. One news report leader. Eh, it let the, eh, eh, you're getting shut down in this game. But around the of December. Around that time, I guess that's when it slowly started to disappear. She wrote about her experience in a blog titled, How I Lost My Children to Fortnite. The post, garnering big response from other parents across the country. <sighs> Everyone's sort of struggling with this thing. You're the camcorder, you idiot news people. No, the news is the bad guy in this situation. I don't care for Fortnite, but I'm. But 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 not any but any uh, ABC news. Apparently, like some YouTubers, like hey, this news channel I grew up with betrayed me. It's not insulting. Yeah, this is not happening on one news station, but a bunch of news stations. This is to all of the news covering video games. Let's continue. <laughs> Disorder as a mental health issue. The American Academy of Pediatrics. Okay, let's get the hammer and smash. What are we using? Oh, I have an idea. Let's get the hammer and smash down the news station. Oh, I have an idea. Let's not do that. I'll just prove they're stupid, terrible, idiotic claims. Take it, news. You don't get money from this. You don't get money from your report. Take it. and other behaviors essential to health. But for worried parents, Fortnite's social aspect may actually have a positive effect. The beauty of video games is they're moving from being solo experiences to more social experiences that invite people to come together and bond over a shared positive activity. I'm sorry! You went from being a negative to, oh, positive. You have to be positive. Because these are somewhat our real opinions. 
slightly altered by the news. This negative stuff is being forced for us, we're being forced to say, so that we so can just keep our jobs. We just want our jobs. We're gonna be lying to keep our jobs. You have to like lie about something you're passionate about for your job? Then get a new job. The discussion that's bringing clinical and sports psychologist Dr. Jonathan Fader. And um, Jonathan, thank you for joining us. From a clinical perspective, what makes this game different than any other games that we've seen before? And how does it affect. From a perspective that we force you to say and memorize via script, please memorize the script and say it off in this room. Listen, when you mentioned Fortnite here in the studio, there were people high-fiving. I saw a bunch of teenagers in the studio high-fiving. This is a viral game. People are so into this game, and the thing that makes Fortnite so different is it's so interactive, Michael. I mean, people can play duo as a team and really interact over the video game. It affects our pleasure centers of the brain. That's what video games do, and this one is really intense. Okay, so speaking specifically to Fortnite... I think they're being positive. ...too much time parents want to know... What limits do we set? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics says if your kid is five, two to five, it should be an hour or less a day. With teenagers, it's really about the context. How does the video game affect their activities? Does it prevent them from getting their schoolwork done? Does it prevent them from doing other social activities? You know, Homer Simpson had a great quote. To alcohol. Now it's time for guests. Listen to all of life's problems. So, you know, when you think about these videos... Uh, you're comparing it to alcohol? Oh, I'm sorry. No! No, no! I don't care about Fortnite, but I'm the first person to say this is just stupid, scripted insanity done by a corporate person forcing people to say it, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. I don't. This was pre-prepared for in the past. Try me news. Try me. Freaking try me news. Fun, but at the same time, let's moderate. And is it hard oh wait, don't. To find that balance. With it's your kids so hard. Games. I mean, my kids play video games, and what I do is I play with them. I want to see what they're doing. I want to get in, and I mean, some of it is just fun. But I want to be there and understand. At least he's being honest and not submitting to some corporate hand. And how violent it is. And also, I want to help them limit it uh, themselves. It's a problem too because my kids use all of those devices for their schoolwork, and so like, Mom, I'm doing schoolwork. So I always say you have to have a door open, and I have to hear, you can't have the headphones on, because if you hear that play happening, then you know that there's behind the screen, like, yeah. I'm doing my essay, <laughs> slash they're doing Fortnite, no right? No question, it's great cover. It's a great <laughs> undercover thing, and so when you tell so them... So you're told they made a mobile version of Fortnite at some point. So this is a more recent report. So it's, it's really harder to limit than it used to be. So what are... If are, maybe I'll try the mobile version. Maybe I'll try the PC version. I think I heard they're both free. If it's free, I'll try it. When I hit 100 subscribers and it's not trending anymore. Now, so that's really one of the fun parts about it, and that's what sucks people in and says, "Hey, five more minutes, mom. Ten more minutes, mom. Three hours more. You know, and you can spend your whole life down there in the family room playing." It's that I get component. it. Component. A lot of kids who aren't connected in sports or other settings really find a social scene in that, which is as a benefit. But in moderation, it can really get out of hand. Moderation being the key. And I like that you play with your kids, so you know what. I don't get it. Are they trying to be positive or negative? Well. The, 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 there's like something called the Nintendo DS is for child molesters. I think that was just all negative. But at least there's positive in this one. At least. But how do they got the how they get the attention? If Fortnite is uh, blood filled, no, that's a lie. I don't know. If I feel like this, or if I feel, is this is like F U or peace. I, I don't know. I don't feel like peace or this. I don't know. There's just sending me mixed messages news. Stop being half honest or, or lie entirely, or be fully honest. If you're just telling your kids all day, stop doing that. It's just going to be a drag. Connect with them. Understand what they like about it. All right, Dr. Fader. Thank you so much. At least they're trying. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So like our videos is reports. No, no, no. I, I don't know. Should I be concerned about the news? I don't know. I 
don't know if I should be concerned. Because, yeah. I don't know if I should be concerned. Because, I, I honestly don't know if I should be concerned. Not about Fortnite, that'd be stupid. Because, that's honestly dumb. Oh, oh, you know how I just triggered the news? Oh, let's take it one step further. Oh, this is, welcome to the biggest mistake on my channel. Google Maps. Where's Google Maps? Does this come with Google Maps? Uh. Eh. It doesn't come with Google Maps. Really? Oh. Google Maps. Welcome one and all to the reason the government shot down the video. Search. I, uh, yes, I would, I would love to search. I would love to allow it to, please. Yeah, sure, uh, yeah, sure, let, let the...